Welcome back to the Snack Rack, everybody. We got another three snacks we've never had before. Today we're doing a little bit of a special. These snacks all came from a gas station. Yes, normally we get these at uh, Walmart, mm -hmm. uh, but we decided to change it up a little bit because I've noticed sometimes that there's snacks that you don't often see at Walmart, but sometimes for whatever reason you see them at a gas station. Mm -hmm. So we figured we'd try to go to our gas station and just see what we could find. Now, I should state, we don't know for a 100% fact that these are all exclusively sold at a gas yeah, station. These could absolutely be sold at stores everywhere. Yeah, and we just don't know about it. This week is gas station week. And to celebrate, Kurt, I got you a little something special. Oh, yeah. You did it. But first up we have pretzel chip buffalo wing deli style. I'm not entirely sure what the deli style is about. Yeah. Then we got the uh, Hershey's uh, cookies and cream. I gotta see what, exactly how they call it. The dipped pretzels. And then lastly we have Reese's dipped pretzels, which is the same thing, but Reese's. Yeah. I guess I didn't say at the top of this, we're, they're all pretzels in this particular gas station special. Yeah. Personally, I am very excited for the Reese's. Mm -hmm. I think these will be good. And I have no idea what to think out of these ones. Yeah. Now I should say I have had different flavors of these type of pretzels, but they were a little bit more plain Jane. Uh, and I don't like how flat they are. There isn't a lot of pretzel to them, but maybe it works differently with a different flavor. So I am still kind of excited to try that and see what it's like. I am just worried that this is going to be spicier than I want it to be. I hear you. I don't think I'm going to like it, but... I can't say that until we try it. First up, we've got the buffalo. They don't smell like anything in the bag. I, s I get a little bit of the, bar the buffalo. Yeah, I smell the buffalo when, when it's actually like on the pretzel. So first impression, it looks about as pimply as a teenager's face. Yeah, I would agree with you about what you said earlier that them being flat just means that there's not as much pretzel there. Yeah. Pretzels are known for being thick mm -hmm. and taking away the defining factor yeah. of a pretzel seems to be counterintuitive. The smell of this mm -hmm. is very strong. Like It is it, very it strong. It punches you in the yeah, sinuses. It's like, I'm a buffalo. So let's try it. There's a lot of buffalo flavoring, but there isn't really any pretzel. That's the problem that I have with it. It's almost more like a stale potato chip than a pretzel. Yeah. I mean, like, you get a whiff of it, but not a lot. The buffalo is very overpowering. The pretzel doesn't have a lot of flavor. You do get a little bit of it there. It's mostly like the feeling of a, not a pretzel, a stale potato chip. And then the buffalo is kind of strong. Mm -hmm. It's not super spicy, Yeah. but it's kind of strong. Yeah, I don't think it tastes bad. I don't mind the taste. In fact, I think it tastes pretty good. I really like the buffalo flavoring, but it wouldn't be my go to and I still don't think that that type of pretzel works now even with that flavoring. No. I don't think you could put any flavor on there. The buffalo Cheez-Its, those were a lot better than this. Way better than this, absolutely. This doesn't have a lot of flavor and what flavor it does have isn't very good. After eating that I'm even more curious about this picture which we mentioned earlier mm -hmm. which seems to be like a suggestion of like what you could do with these yeah and put That's, yeah, beans but, and corn on it why would you want to do that on this yeah and i guess like maybe the idea is oh it's a pretzel that you can use like dip stuff in and still get a little bit of pretzel taste and maybe it's good for that but why not just do that with a regular pretzel i don't see the appeal for the pretzel chips yeah. here pretzels. on the back of here it says pretzel chips are a modern twist on an old favorite they're the best part of a pretzel, thin and flavored with the crunch you love. Bold and spicy flavors combined zesty spices with the flat crunch perfection. Okay, so the appeal is the crunch, but... Pretzels have crunch. Yeah. I have a feeling basically this company was like, okay, we should make pretzels, but if we just make a bag of pretzels, yeah. people are gonna look over it. Mm -hmm. So let's make something new even if it's no good, yeah. just so that people will buy it, which we did. Yeah, I will say, the way you eat it does fascinate me. So I, it keeps on making me want to go, well, let me try that again. So maybe that's what they're going for. They tried to do something so unique that people would just go crazy over it. Like, 
this doesn't feel right. And they keep trying it, and then, I don't know. I just don't really know about it, because I'm not a big fan of the pretzel chip, no. and the flavor isn't very great either. And at the same time, it isn't bad. It's not bad. I would be, I would eat it again, yeah. but. Yeah, like if this was at somebody's house, and they were like, hey, try these. I'd eat a couple. I'd eat a couple, yeah. Maybe even a little more, but mm -hmm. I don't think I'd buy this again. I'm not gonna buy this again. These better be better than what we just ate. <laughs> you know how sometimes you like pick up like a bag of something and you can just feel inside that the food's gonna be good? Yeah. Is that what you're getting with that? I get, I get, I'm getting that. Now I should say, pretzels, I love pretzels. Pretzels covered in something, perfection. Jeez, I cannot get that open. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Alright, you smart ass. Immediately I'm gonna complain. It doesn't look bad. I think it's gonna be good. But on the packaging, it looks like there's so much more cream on it. And it also looks like it's so much bigger than what you actually get. And it kind of upsets me. We have talked about misleading products before, but yeah. honestly, it has been a little while since we've had to Bring it it up. has, yeah. Because this Most is... Most of the time it's close enough, but this is way too far off. This is the worst thing since the cereal bars in terms of yeah. product misplacement mm -hmm. or yeah. whatever. The one thing to keep in mind though is that those cereal bars were still bomb. They were good, yeah. but this is where I say, this isn't what your product looks like. Yeah. This doesn't look bad. I like yeah. this, this looks yeah. good. Yeah. On its own, mm -hmm. I would 100% be willing to eat this thing. Yeah. But once I see that, honestly, this doesn't even really look that much better than this. I think that this looks better than on the package. This photo does not look like this, so I am now angry. Even yeah. though I think this looks better than the way they portrayed it on the, in the you back. You see what you did, Hershey? You need to give Kurt a kiss. I like the smell of it. Oh, that smell is good. Let me ask you this, what's your opinion on cookies and cream Hershey's? I think they're okay, they're not my favorite. Okay. But I'm interested to see how they match up. With then we would be on the opposites, because in terms of Hershey's, like Hershey bars, That's cookies melting. and cream is my favorite. You ready? Because this is melting. Yes. It is a well-known fact that you are a huge fan of pretzels. Yes. So, between the two of us, you are going to like this more than me, no matter what. What did you think of this snack? I don't think it was the best pretzel I've ever had, but it was still pretty smack. It was really good, I really liked it. Okay, I think I'm gonna agree with you. I really enjoyed this. However, mm -hmm. for me personally, the pretzel kind of let down the chocolate. For me, the pretzel wasn't a great pretzel. And so I was enjoying the chocolate, mm -hmm. and then the pretzel started to come out, and I was like, eh, the pretzel doesn't hold up to the standard of the yeah. chocolate now. I don't think I'll buy this again. I thought it was really good, I thought it was slap. But I don't think I'd buy this again, I'll tell you why. They have just regular cream flavored pretzels, or like chocolate flavor flavored pretzels. And what I really like about these is that's like a combination of both of those. However, I don't think either or was to a high enough quality to be you know, truly worth it over another type of pretzel. The first few ones that I ate just really excited me. And I was like, oh, this is really good. But then the more I ate, the more I realized that the quality is just not there for what it should be and what it could be. I don't think I'll buy this again. And I did really like this. And if mm -hmm. it was sitting next to the checkout, somewhere. Mm -hmm. I'd probably look at it and I'd be like, those are good. But then I would probably look next to it and see the Hershey's cookie and cream bar mm -hmm. and go, I'd rather just eat that. Yeah. Because if I wanted Hershey's cookies and cream, I think I'd rather eat just a chocolate bar than a chocolate covered pretzel. Yeah. Whereas if I wanted a chocolate covered pretzel, I think I might try something else before mm -hmm. I got this. I think that this is probably the most mediocre food that I haven't been able to stop eating. Like, I'm addicted. Like, I'm not 
doing this right now. It's just my body going, I need more. You know what? I don't know if I could say it is necessarily the most mediocre food, but I would say that this is like right past the threshold mm -hmm. yeah. of like wanting to keep eating it. Yeah. It's like, it's not so great that I'm like, oh, I like consciously mm -hmm. want to eat this. Yeah. But my body is like, yes, continue eating. Now, Hershey, if you're listening, please do this. I'd say make it the size of this and add on a little bit more frosting. Yeah, more. I think it'd be more appealing. More of that milk chocolate or that white chocolate, mm -hmm. that would be really good. You know what? Actually, if it was like a big piece of chocolate with mm -hmm. like a little pretzel in it, I think that would be really good because mm -hmm. that would really crank up the chocolate, which is the better part of the two out yeah. of this snack. Mm -hmm. And that I feel like that would be really good because you'd get this really nice piece of chocolate and a little crunch or, of pretzel. Or get a mm. chocolate bar. And you could do it with like regular chocolate or white chocolate or cookies and cream. Take a regular chocolate bar and put little bits of pretzel in it. I don't know if you've had them, the M&M pretzels. Those are really good. I think I have. If they had a Hershey's chocolate bar, which you know is divided mm -hmm. up into little rectangles, and then in each rectangle, has a tiny little pretzel, like in the shape of a pretzel and everything. Yeah. Just like inside of it, you can kind of see it poking out. Yeah. That would look really, really cool. Yeah. And I think and that would be, be a pretty good snack. Yeah, it'd pretty, be a pretty good snack. But I'm, I'm honestly, I'm done talking about this one. I want to do that Reese's. Oh, so I, I got did, it. I got it. You got it. Oh Here my, that looks nothing like what's, again, I know that it's never going to be perfect. I mean, like, that looks well done, like, very graciously done. There's hardly, like, it's the same color all around. <laughs> like, it does say right here, enlarge to show detail, but still, you didn't make it that much bigger. Yeah. And you didn't enlarge the detail. You fabricated the detail. Like, mm -hmm. the drizzle isn't on here. Like, look how little drizzle is on these pretzels yeah. compared to this thing. This is like thick globs of chocolate drizzled mm -hmm. over top. Yeah. This is like tiny little strings of... I'll set that there because I know yeah. we're going to be eating more. It does smell good though. It smells like peanut butter, yeah. Yeah. Alright, I want to eat it. Yeah. I can't believe... I'm going to say this. About a peanut butter chocolate flavored item. With pretzels, especially for you. With pretzels, because I freaking love pretzels. Because I know what you're going to say, so I can already yeah. predict this. For how excited I was, that lives up to all the expectations. It was so good. Freaking awesome. No, I'm kidding. That was not great. It wasn't bad. I liked it, but I'm just so disappointed. I said off camera, for me, this might top the peanut butter Oreos, but they by far failed. Like, I I'm about to cry right now but I'm being professional. We thought that this was gonna be so good that it was literally gonna be a yeah. debate over what does it top yeah. the peanut butter mm -hmm. Oreos. Yeah. Well, this was so mediocre that if it wasn't the fact that it was peanut butter and chocolate and yeah. therefore made us think mm -hmm. that it was gonna be so good, yeah. there is no way I would have even compared this, and yeah. like even said like, oh, maybe it gets close to the peanut butter yeah. Oreo. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. does not. And the sad thing is, I am damn sure if someone made a good peanut butter covered with chocolate pretzel. <clears throat> if someone made a really good one, it would be up there with, it, if not surpassing it. Yeah. But, and you would think the company to do that would be the peanut butter chocolate company, Reese's, but no, they had to fail. Personally for me, the peanut butter was almost like they just took a little bit of peanut butter and just kind of like mm -hmm. set it on top. It didn't taste very good. It was kind of like a mediocre peanut butter. There wasn't enough there. It wasn't blended in properly with the snack. There was not a lot of chocolate to counteract and mm -hmm. sufficiently bring that snack together. And then the pretzel, with the other one I complained that the pretzel was a weak element mm -hmm. of it. Here, the pretzel was barely even there. Yeah. And once you kind of tasted it through everything, it was just as mediocre as the rest of the snack. The pretzel, only adds the crunch. Like it hardly even adds the flavor. It's not bad, we're eating them, but we are mad because they're just not nearly as good as what we were expecting or what it should be for what it is. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot of flavor. 
And something like this, you want lots of Reese's mm -hmm. flavor. In my opinion, because the backs of them are chocolate, there's more chocolate flavor in them than there is peanut butter and pretzel. And the chocolate is okay chocolate. It's not the best chocolate. You taste the chocolate and then it feels like you have a spoonful of peanut butter in your mouth. Mm -hmm. And so you're kind of like gumming over this mess of food in your mouth and you don't get a lot of flavor. You get little hints of chocolate, mm -hmm. little hints of peanut butter, little hints of pretzel, none of them very good, none of them very powerful. The flavor isn't gross, it's just such a disappointment that it makes you dislike it. it. Yeah, I mean, it's, it tastes good. The cricket returned. Yeah. Like it tastes good, but it should taste so much better that it's a disappointment. And I wouldn't know this because I've never gotten drunk. But if I was really drunk, I'd probably be like, whoa, yeah, this is the stuff. But I'm 100% sober right now. I guess I could change that though. Well, while I still have this on my mind, I would mm -hmm. like to quickly say that honestly, I think I preferred this over this. I think I prefer this over this, despite this being a massive disappointment. Okay. I really like milk chocolate. Mm -hmm. I think that's why I prefer this over this. But this did not, this one right here did not make me nearly as upset as this one right here. Mm -hmm. Because this one just should have been so much better than what it is. Uh, honestly, same with this one. I mean, they were both letdowns. Yeah. This was a bigger letdown than this one. Yeah. For me personally, I really like the cookie, cookies and cream Hershey's. Mm -hmm. Since you're not a big of a fan, I can see that because for me, they are very close. Mm -hmm. I just feel like I would rather eat this than this right, one. Right, yeah. But they were both a disappointment and they're both not very good. And I wouldn't buy any of these things again. Yeah. Well, I think it's sad because again, the idea is so good. But I think the problem is, is instead of Hershey going and saying, well, let's try it with this product and see what we did good and see what we did wrong, and then do another product and another and another, they just did all of them all at once. Mm -hmm. And they, what they should have done is release like a regular Hershey one and then go, okay, this is a perception that we got. This is what we can improve on. And then do the cookies and cream and then do the Reese's after they learn a lesson or two from the first initial product release. It's just like someone in their marketing department went, people like pretzels, let's do pretzels. This, that pretty much sums up how these taste. Yeah. Somebody said, let's do pretzels. Mm -hmm. They didn't put any thought into let's make good pretzels, let's make the pretzels work, mm -hmm. let's figure out how to, make, how to transition this one candy into a pretzel. Mm -hmm. They just went, Let's do something that's kind of like this candy on a pretzel so that we can call it this candy pretzel. Yeah. And now um, I hate to get after like people in the food business, but I'm going to. And like the automotive world, and I get it, you know, a product takes a long time to be developed and released and it costs money. And I think the automotive market and the food market are two, two different things. But I wish they would honestly look at new product releases like the automotive automotive market does. Because they look at a new release, they get customer feedback of what people like about the vehicle, what's wrong, you know, what they can improve for next year's model. And they do that. You don't get that a lot with the food companies. And I think a lot more of that has to do with, you know, like health reasons, you know, maybe a certain food has to go through so much. Mm -hmm. testing before it can be approved to put on sale. It's I don't cheaper, know for consumable. sure. Yeah, if they did a little bit of research and development when mm -hmm. it came to their food, uh, well, I should say a little bit more, you know, instead of letting their marketing department talk for them, mm -hmm. I think they'd overall come out with more products and make more money. That's the unfortunate thing is Products like this, these two more than this one. Yeah. I, I mean, this one, we kind of had the same complaints. We were literally mm -hmm. saying like they just wanted a different kind of pretzel. But yeah. I feel like I'm gonna kind of harp on these two a little more. I'm sure they did more than like, we're joking about like, let's make pretzels. And then they just threw it out. Mm -hmm. They did do some research, I'm yeah. sure. They probably tested yeah. a little bit, but they could have done more and they could have made a much better product. But for them, all they care is, is this going to be enough yeah, so that for we can, this quarter so that we can sell yeah. they don't really care about making a good food because mm -hmm. they probably figure 
If it's not good, we'll stop running it. Yeah. And plus they've already got Hershey's and Reese's peanut butter cups and, you know, all these different yeah. companies, you know, that make them annual revenue. They just, and maybe it's more of just, you know, they want to look like they're trying to do something new. But, you know, something like this, like like you're saying about the automotive industry, mm -hmm. if, the, if, a, if a car company made a really bad car mm -hmm. and the people bought that really bad car, well, people are going to be stuck with that car mm -hmm. for a long time before they can, you know, move on to another vehicle. Oh, yeah. Whereas something like this, we don't like this, it'll be gone tonight, yeah. tomorrow, mm -hmm. next yeah. day, mm -hmm. and we'll forget about it. And so it's not really as big a stakes as yeah. a car, but I wish they would think of it a little bit more like it's a bigger stake yeah. because mm -hmm. this could be something that was really good in somebody's life, something yeah. that people really enjoy, like Reese's, for instance, oh, yeah. is to us, mm -hmm. in like other you know great snacks that we enjoy. This could have been another thing that was really nice to have around. Mm -hmm. It's not as big of a deal as a car, but I could care about this. Exactly. And I wish that the company that made it also cared, cared about it. Yeah. Well, we're not gonna buy any of these products again. No. Just kind of disappointing. Yeah. And rants aside, I'm not gonna even recommend any of these. Honestly, I kind of enjoyed mm -hmm. the taste of these a little bit. Right. But they were disappointing enough and mediocre enough, I'm not going to recommend them. Well, thank you for joining us for another Snack Rack. It was a little bit of a disappointment today, yeah. but... Um, not the first time. It's definitely not the first time. <laughs> probably won't be the last time. Uh, please come back for our... Week of Gas Station. Yeah. Oh, Kurt. Forgot to drink the gas. Oh, right.